Okay. I got a little bit disoriented there. Um, okay, let's see if we can do anything here. Um, Yeah. Okay, skill set, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I get I get the feeling that Hmm. Media Rahan. I get the feeling that uh, all any persona that I will be able to fuse uh, from spell cards that I pick up in this dungeon, they're just going to be. They're always going to be, or pretty much always going to be, a few levels above me. So. Uh, I'm not really feeling it with these personas, with those. Like, almost all of the skills are of the same type. Uh, I've got to decide on what to do, really. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, this is the one which has mostly... Attacks, which are not magic. Based, or they're pretty. You have to be pretty close up to be able to attack. And Odin has a lot of petrifying skills, whom I am not sure how, how useful they actually are. Uh, he does have a physical attack and an earth-based attack, though. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I need to... Okay, I need to delete some personas. Okay. Mm. Which ones should I actually delete, though? Uh... Wait, huh? How do you delete them? Uh... The hell? Uh... Square? Oh, okay. I was like, how do you actually delete them when... Okay, so... Okay, yeah. I got a little bit, little bit confused there. <clears throat> yeah, because you have to... <laughs> you, have to, you have to press delete and then you have to confirm them, you have to pick them. But you can't... Have them... Okay, well, that actually makes sense. Yeah, I, I it's just me donking out. Some of these do have some decent skills, but... I, I do need the space. But some of them are very good to have, uh, even if they're not as high of a level as some of the others. Because they have skills which are still useful to me. And the SP cost is fairly low. So that's always a plus. <laughs> T 
totally not abusing the system. It's, it's, it's as intended. You can do whatever you want with your demons. Or pff, with your personas. As long as they are of help to you. Um. Yeah, I have some gaps to fill. So I am, I'm gonna have to get some more personas at some point. But I'm really sick of this place, so... Uh, I can't even be asked to level up these personas to max rank. Yep. We, we're just gonna go save and then just head back up again and just go for it. I do get the feeling that this is not really the final dungeon uh, right now, because, like, no matter what happens, I do get the feeling that we'll face Kandori, but then there's still the fact that there's something, there's like these unresolved questions about Maki. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes I still get lost for some reason. Like these mini times where I get lost. Kandori, this is it. I hope you're ready. You guys are so aggravating. I won't let you get in my daddy's way. That's enough, Aki. Stay back. Daddy? Wait in the other room. I'll be with you soon. Okay, Daddy. And she teleports away. <laughs> Stop causing all this pain. Turn everyone back to normal. Don't worry. I won't do anything further. What? Something seems peculiar about this. What are you living for? Huh? People aren't strong enough to live without a goal. Everyone wants something. No matter how small the desire, it gives them the strength to carry on. But, if every desire is fulfilled, what's left to strive for? When one's wishes have been granted, the only thing that awaits is a bottomless solitude, an internal emptiness. Then wouldn't it be better if one chose not to ascend the stairs of desire? That way, one's dreams are kept alive. I kept ascending that stair to destroy this worthless world. But it no longer matters. Right now, nothing is beyond my grasp. The winds of solitude and emptiness blow within me. Such is a god's lot. Boy, I allowed you to come here in order to ask you this. Why do you cling to life? Dumbass? How old are you? And you don't even know that yet. We are alive so we can do the best we can, every second of every day. You're always so freaking sulky. It's not good for you, man. You gotta look on the sunny side. I live to protect the things I treasure. The people you see here are my most trusted friends. Now that I have them, 
I won't give them up that easily. You boy. I haven't heard your answer yet. What are you living for? Well, that's an easy one. <clears throat> that's right. Our reason for living. We may never understand it. But I still believe in myself. With or without a reason, I'm going to live a life I won't regret. Kandori, just stop this. It's painful seeing you so far out on a limb. What? Surely you must know. The seat of power you have reached by using people is no divine throne. Deep down, you know none of it was your doing. You miserable... You are suffering. You despair at your inability to live in any other way. Stop. The same goes for her wish to erase mankind. It stems from one's anxiety for the future. Silence! I want to risk it, but I can't. If only I could disappear. Did you think burdening all mankind with your fears would make them go away? Why continue rationalizing your neurosis with these grandiose principles? No one knows the foolishness of that more than you. I cannot forgive your offenses against God. I will cleanse you from this world. <laughs> Looks like you're finally ready to throw down. Can you defeat me? Can you protect the things you claim are precious? Yes, we can. <laughs> then prove it before God's throne. <laughs>